but as you can see right there there she is spawning in all right but enough of that let's go ahead pick it up and just like normal there you can see we now have the weapon as you saw i was easily able to do it by round 10 all right and welcome back guys are you tired of doing six to eight trials to get the wonder weapon on this map i definitely am i'm not sure why but it feels like getting the wonder weapon out of the trials on this map is so much harder than what it's been on previous maps but that no longer matters we now know how to build the entire thing completely for free don't got to do trials don't got to get out of the box we know all the steps for that so in this video we're going to break it down i'm going to show you everything you want to do i am going to leave out how to turn on power i'm going to show you every single location how to get there from like you know so that way you can traverse it even if you don't understand this map layout i'm gonna make this guide to show you where you need to go but i'm not gonna show you how to get power on i'm gonna have a link to a guide in below if you don't know how to turn on power but it's pretty self-explanatory the first thing you want to do is turn on power there's actually a little bit of a time get you have to wait a couple rounds after lifting the lockdown to be able to get the first piece so step one of this easter egg is to turn power on obviously and then we got to wait a little bit so the earlier you're able to turn power on the quicker you're going to be able to get this so that's what i'm going to do right now while i'm doing that if you're new here and want to sub i would greatly appreciate it we're trying to hit 130 or 175,000 subs before vanguard's launch and on top of that i gotta give a massive thanks everyone's gonna like comment and watch this video in its entirety those three things help my channel out so much so yeah i'm gonna go turn power on like i said if you don't know how to do it one you can just follow the waypoints are if you're struggling with it i'm gonna have a guide linked below but yeah, I'm gonna go take care of that. All right, there we go. Just killed the Margwa dog. So now we're gonna go up here to the tower and there's a few things we need to do. Obviously you gotta turn on power or release the lockdown, pretty much same thing. After this, you've actually got to go back over here and watch this cutscene. What this is going to do is introduce some of the Dark Aether elements, and we need the Dark Aether crystals to be able to spawn in to get one of these parts. So this whole cutscene here, and luckily you are able to skip it. I wouldn't recommend watching the whole thing unless you want to see it for the first time, because uh, this cutscene is a very, very long cutscene, and I didn't realize you could skip it at first. Okay, there we go. Was able to skip it. Yeah, definitely skip it. That is like a three-minute long cutscene. If you had to watch that every game honestly would make this miserable uh from here we now actually have to wait a couple of rounds as you can see it is round six hopefully i think round eight it's usually two to three rounds for my testing something's gonna fall out of the sky and we've got to wait for that but while we're doing that we can start making progress towards the two other pieces we need to get we need to get 100 scrap or 100 of the blue salvage that way we're able to buy a flamethrower and on top of that we also need to wait for another margwa dog to spawn in those two things are what we need to do the next step now while we're doing that let me show you where we need to go to grab that other part i'm going to show you from the tower so from the tower and you can see the staging area portal what you want to do is go down this zip line right here and it's going to take us into this area that we got right after spawn from here we're going to enter one of these buildings the part's not going to be here yet because i have not waited the required rounds it's going to be jim's donut so if you're coming from spawn right there's the spawn portal you're essentially just going to walk up and over because this is closed until you turn it on but once the part spawns in, it's going to be right here. So I think it should be around round eight. I don't know exactly how long it takes. But like I said, it usually seems to be just a couple of rounds and you'll see it and you definitely won't miss it. Oh, yeah, there it is. Two rounds exactly after we opened up the lockdown. And now there's going to be this right here in that location we show. And if you go to interact with it, you're going to start a little event and be kind of prepared for this. You might want to go ahead, pack your weapon, get a couple perks because uh, you're going to have to kill a bunch of enemies and you're going to wait for it to be over and it's going to allow you to pick up the item. So just sit here, slaughter a bunch of zombies, get some points, do that kind of stuff. And uh, ooh, I'm going to go down. Crap. But uh, you'll tell you'll be able to tell once it's over. There we go. This should be the last zombie here. Get the mimic, get the zombie. Oh, another mimic. Never mind. Not the last. This should be the last mimic. Turn it. Oh, now we got to wait for the turn mimic to die before we can pick it up. Nice. All right. Now that it's dead, you can go ahead and pick up the crystal core, which is the first piece you need. All right. Now that we've got that crystal, we've got to get the two other pieces. One of them requires having a hundred of the blue salvage. And you can see it's round nine. We're only at 40. We're going to do the arcade, the uh, Nocturne Toten Easter egg, which is going to give us 70 salvage. That way we're able to buy it. So uh, if you're low on salvage and you want to be able to go ahead and get it, this event's going to take two minutes and 30 seconds. And if you complete it, you'll end up getting a total of 70. The main goal for this is just aim for the headshots on zombies. If you slow down, aim for headshots, you're pretty much guaranteed to beat it because you have exact you have more than enough bullets and it's going to one shot headshot the zombies, especially. Oh, well, 
Uh, talk about being accurate, and as you can see, I'm missing. So I'm gonna go ahead and complete this real quick. All right, there we go, Easter egg done. Now we should be able to get our free rewards here, get some bonus stuff, but now we have 165, which is more than what we need. And now that you have the points you need, you wanna go ahead, make your way to a crafting table, and you wanna build a flamethrower. You're gonna need it, so don't waste it. When it comes to finding crafting tables, honestly, I have a hard time finding them on this map. I feel like they're very, very scarce. There's one at spawn, but usually I'll go to the one in the... Oh, and there's the Margo dog. That's what we need for the next step. But usually I'll go to the one in the... Uh, part of accelerator this is where you came to turn on power that's the uh tower up there so now what we need to do is we need to get this margwa dog we need it to use its laser and break any crystal on the map since we're already here we'll go ahead and do this one this is probably the hardest out of all the steps just because it's a little oh did we get it there we go actually didn't take us long at all so now we've got two pieces now we're just missing one and this last one's super simple all we got to do is wait for a tormentor to spawn in and kill it with the flamethrower but yeah i will say we were a little bit lucky with that usually it takes me a little bit longer to get it it just so happened that the uh, margwa dog logged onto it right away and i think i hear a tormentor over there so yep there it is what you want to do is pull out your flamethrower and all you're going to do is kill it with the flamethrower and it should drop an item that we can now pick up uh, if i can find it here there we go and look at that all of that's going to be different intel for you to collect and as you can see we have all three parts now all you're going to do is head back over here into the bath going to place the parts down wait a few seconds let's go ahead and activate our ability so we can watch it happen oh and i'm going to go down nice okay there we go i actually found out what i was doing wrong if we go ahead and kill a zombie as you can see nothing's happening when we're killing zombies but if we melee a zombie you can see that this is a soul chest that you have to kill zombies with a melee weapon for it to work. And last time I did this, I was actually using the wonder weapon itself that I got out of a trial. So that's why I was able to do it by just killing zombies in front of it. But no, you have to fill up the soul chest using melee weapons, which I would have been able to do this on round 10 if I would have realized it then. So if you already have the wonder weapon, that's great. If not, you're going to have to wait a little bit longer and knife them uh, by hand. Or if you spawn in with the E-Tool or anything like that. But as you can see right there, there she is spawning in for you, be able, for you to be able to pick up. And I actually don't mind this one at all. All right, but enough of that. Let's go ahead, pick it up. And just like normal, there you can see we now have the weapon. So uh, I was still learning stuff as we were doing that, but it's still a super simplistic thing. I think building it on this map is definitely the way to go. Some maps, it's easier to do trials. Some maps, it's easier to build. But uh, this map, all you got to do... One, got to turn on power. Pretty self-explanatory. Got to wait two rounds. After you've waited two rounds, you've then got to do a defend event in the donut shop. After that, you've got to go ahead and get a flamethrower. You then have to kill a tormentor with that flamethrower. That way you're able to get the part from that. And then you've got to wait for another Margwa dog to spawn in, break the crystal, and that's everything you need to do. So for me personally, I'm probably just going to build this every round. As you saw, I was easily able to do it by round 10. I took me to round 14 to get it because I didn't realize you had to melee the zombies in front of it to get it. But yeah, with that, guys, I guess we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. How do you feel about this Wonder Weapon Easter Egg guy? Do you Are you going to build it or are you going to try to get out of the trials? Yeah, the trials in this game are definitely brutal. But one thing that they have done in the past is they always seem to be tinkering with the trials odds. They kind of change it. I know for Firebase, it changed so many times during the map's lifespan. So it might actually become easier to get out of trials later on. But only time will tell for that, guys. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up here. Thank you guys so much for watching, especially all the way to the end. And I'll see you guys next time.